Mm. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Rain your love down, won't you let it rain? Cleansing us from hunger and hate, war and greed. Rain your love down, won't you? Let it start. Wash the wicked mind and the sick at heart. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. This is all I see when I look at the news. You know, um, every great nation has um or empire has 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 had his um day in the limelight and russia is saying that the west is willing to plunge the whole world into the abyss of war <sighs> um to defeat putin and um i want to know why in the world? Because nobody wins in war. Nobody. And and if these people are willing to throw it all in, I mean, what kind of leadership is this? What? That is willing to uh, annihilate the whole human family for their ego's sake. And um, their power, their thirst and greed and lust for it. That they're willing to sacrifice all of our asses. And at this point, it, got, it goes beyond color. For those of us who want to make it a black and white issue. Or say, don't worry about that. That's white folks business. It's like, are you stupid? Do you think you live on another planet? Or do you think that if they have a nuclear attack on us that we all going to be affected regardless of our color? The light switch turns on for you regardless of your color if you pay your electric bill. It don't care if you black and you flip the switch and it don't care if you white and you flick the switch. If you pay the bill, the damn light switch going to come on. And I better pay mine before they be off. Because I, I didn't pay the bill. I didn't have it. And so if I don't pay it, when I turn this light switch off on, and it don't come on, regardless of my color. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen now that we're in the brink of almost in the abyss of hell. Because Russia's claim that, again, if the West is willing to plunge the whole entire world into the abyss of war and sacrifice Ukraine to defeat Vladimir Putin and his invading armies. Moscow's U.M. Ambassador Vizli Nebenza told a special meeting of the U.N. General Assembly that the United States and its European allies were ignoring neo-nazism in ukraine to use the country to crush russia and maintain global power parroting a kremlin line that has been widely discredited in this desire of their defeat russia in any way possible they cannot just sacrifice ukraine they are ready to plunge the entire world into the abyss of war now, what y'all think? I mean, the Bible speaks of uh, fire next time and 
I think James Baldwin wrote a book, Fire Next Time. These people don't care nothing about killing all of us. And it just, to me, is mind-boggling that you have so many puppets and functionary puppets that are willing to do their bidding to destroy humanity. Because these countries are competing against each other in a number of sanctions that are imposed on the countries, whereas sanctions in actual fact are hitting the development world the hardest. Nabenza was speaking at an opening debate on a new resolution backed by Ukraine and its allies calling for Russia to immediately and unconditionally pull its troops out of Ukraine and urging the, a lasting and just peace deal to the year-long war. Ain't that something? They love war. They warmongers. The great blood shedder, the Bible speaks of you. You're going to destroy humanity and you're going to destroy civilization as we know it. Because you should have never been given the grace by God to rule over all of us. Because y'all ain't ready. Y'all not developed enough. Now y'all so power hungry and greedy that you're going to do nuclear shit. Russia calls the invasion a special military operation against security threats and has cast deliveries of heavy weapons to Ukraine as proof that the West is escalating the war. Kiev and its allies call Russia's actions an imperialistic land grab. What is at stake? After all, is keeping the United States and its allies hegemony. Hegemony. They don't want to have anyone come to the level of governing the planet. They think it's their turf, he said. <laughs> In those comments, they were rejected by other UN representatives. <coughs> Uh, Russia's army is a guarantor of stability uh, and dedicatedness to Vladimir Putin. I don't know, y'all. I want to know where y'all at with this. Do you think that um, it's all right? You think we're going to survive this? Do you... Uh, of course, there are some that will survive and there's some of us that won't. But at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, what do y'all see? Do you see anything good out of it? All right. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, share the channel, and um, I'll see you in the next video.